Now question number 7, a sum of rupees 25,000 invested in two parts, one at 12 percent per annum and uh, other at 4 percent per annum. If the total simple interest from both the part is fa in 5 years is rupees 9,000, find the sum invested at 4 percent per annum. So, I will deal with the second method where I need to find out overall rate of interest. The overall interest is 9000, we know R is equal to SI into 100 by P into T. So, that is SI is 9000 into 100 by P is 25000 into T is 5 years. So, by solving this I get rate of interest. Let us do it 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 gets cancelled and with uh, 5 it gets cancelled 18 times 180 with 5, 5 times with uh, 5, 5, 3, 15 and uh, 5, 6, 30, 36 divided by 5, 5, 7, 35 and 5, 2. So, overall rate of interest is 7.2 percent. One rate of interest is 12 percent, another rate of interest is 4 percent and mean rate of interest 7.2 percent. So, we will arrange these three figures. I will take uh, 12 percent to the left hand side, 4 percent to the right hand side and the mean 7.2 in the middle. Now, take the cross difference, this is 3.2 and take the cross difference here, you can see this is 4.8. So, what is the ratio? The ratio is with 16 2 times with 16 3 times, that is 2 is to 3 is the ratio. So, I need to find out how much money is invested at 4 percent per annum. So, that ratio at 12 percent to 4 percent per annum is 2 is to 3. To get the uh, sum invested at 4 percent per annum is equal to total sum that is 25,000 into 4 percent how many parts? 3 parts. So, 3 by 2 plus 3 which is 5. So, with 5 this is 5000 into 3 which is 15,000. Sum invested at 4 percent per annum is 15,000. 